Which 1990s movies would make good Twilight Zone episodes? The original Twilight Zone ran from 1959 to 1964. It was an anthology of stories of speculative fiction, science fiction, fantasy, and horror. There is always a paradigm shift of sorts within the episode, often at the end. So here are 10 films from the 1990s that I believe would have made great Twilight Zone episodes. And stick around because I have one bonus film that happened to come out in the year 2000. Number 10. In an Ordinary World You do your job. You go to parties. You pay your bills. You live. As a slave. The Matrix, 1999. What is The Matrix? This mind-bending movie looks at what is reality. It would be perfect for the Twilight Zone. The reveal that's about a third of the way into the film might be the end of a Twilight Zone episode. But once we know what the Matrix is, the film kicks into high gear. You wouldn't see these action sequences in a Twilight Zone episode. Number 9. Isaac Asimov's classic novelette, The Bicentennial Man, was made into a motion picture starring Robin Williams. A family robot serves its family well, but as its family ages, they ask it what it would like. It would like to become a person. The Twilight Zone often had some stories that were heartwarming. This would have been one of them. You may need a tissue or two before this story is over. Number 8. Phenomenon is a 1996 film starring John Travolta as an amiable, small-town everyman who is inexplicably transformed into a genius with telekinetic powers. This reminds me of Twilight Zone episodes where there is a gift that is given to a character. This is often an ability or talent, but is it a gift or a curse? And is Travolta's character George Malley a phenomenon or a danger to his community? Number 7. Consciousness is a terrible curse. Being John Malkovich is a surrealistic fantasy comedy drama. It starred John Cusack, Cameron Diaz, with John Malkovich as a satirical version of himself. Cusack plays Craig Schwartz, a puppeteer who finds a portal into the mind of John Malkovich. After spending 15 minutes in his mind, a person is deposited in a ditch by a highway. The Twilight Zone often asked what is real. What would happen if you could enter the mind of another person? And what would happen if that person discovered the portal for themselves? Number 6. In 1999 Los Angeles, Hannon Fuller owns a multi-billion dollar company and is the inventor of a virtual reality simulation of 1937 Los Angeles. Fuller is murdered as he tests the VR system. His friend and heir to the company, Douglas Hall, becomes the primary suspect. Is the answer to this mystery to be found in the simulation? Once again, questioning reality, even questioning do we live in a simulation? Number five. Today's a good day to die. Flatliners is a 1990 film about five medical students who attempt to find out what lies beyond death by conducting clandestine experiments that produce near-death experiences. Many classic Twilight Zone episodes asked what happens after death. Number four. Pediatrician Chris Nielsen meets artist Annie Collins. They marry and have two children. Their idyllic life ends when the children die in a car crash. Four years later, Chris is also killed in a car crash. 
Unaware that he is dead and confused that no one will interact with him, Chris lingers on earth. This is a story of love and sorrow, of heaven and hell. Heaven is beautifully rendered like an oil painting, and hell is a vision in horror. Will Chris and Annie be reunited? This is a script from a Richard Matheson story. He, of course, was a writer on the original Twilight Zone. Number 3. Pleasantville is a 1998 film centering on two siblings who wind up trapped in a 1950s TV show set in a small Midwest town where residents are seemingly perfect. This film is a morality tale looking at the values of suburban America, comparing present day with the 1950s. Color over black and white is used as a metaphor, representing transformation from repression to enlightenment. The Twilight Zone loved its morality tales, and this one would fit right in. Number 2. Dark City is a 1998 tech noir film. An amnesiac man finds himself suspected of murder and attempts to discover his true identity and clear his name while on the run from the police and a mysterious group known as The Strangers. This dark, beautiful, off-kilter film leads the viewer on a voyage of ultimate discovery. The reveal is so good that you'll want to see the film again and again. Number 1. The Sixth Sense stars Bruce Willis as a child psychologist whose patient, a young boy, claims he can see and talk to the dead. This was the second highest grossing film of 1999 behind Star Wars Episode I. An ingenious script and brilliant performances highlight this film. It is pitch perfect, and you'll want to see it again immediately upon finishing it. This would have been a perfect episode for The Twilight Zone. Please make them wait. I'm working on it. And now, the bonus film. Take this film from 2000, set it back in 1960, and take away some of the gratuitous elements, and this would have been a very, very memorable Twilight Zone episode. We have an A and B plot. In the A plot, we have a firefighter from 1969 named Frank Sullivan. And in the B plot, we have a 1999 NYPD detective named John Sullivan. He lives in his childhood home, and of course... His father is Frank Sullivan. His girlfriend leaves him because she believes he is emotionally shut off, the result of his father Frank dying in a fire when John was six years old. In his garage, he finds the ham radio that once belonged to his father. The night before the 30th anniversary of his father's death, there is a particularly strong aurora borealis, and the ham radio begins to work. It connects him to 1969. This is a time travel story of sorts. Time travel through communication. Can the past be changed? This is a deeply satisfying father and son story. So those are my choices for films that would make great Twilight Zone episodes. What do you think? Do you have any other films that you would recommend? Would you like to see another video, say of the 1980s or the 1970s? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep watching.